I love bball.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rodini Almanasi. I'm from ilovebball.com, and we're at the Brentwood uh, Hall of Fame Basketball Hall of Fame uh, inductee dinner, and we have with us Coach Anthony Jimenez. Coach Anthony Jimenez, um, from what I understand, you were one of the founding. You were the one who brought up the whole idea to start the, the alumni association for the basketball organization. Um, you want to tell everybody what it's about? Sure. Um, you know, we wanted to make sure that we paid tribute to the players and the coaches that came before us. You know, this program has a long, rich tradition. Um, it's never, it's always been on point, um, decade after decade, and that's one of the unique things about it. And it's really made up of great people. The alumni still follow it tremendously. Um, you know, even people like Mitch Kupchak and, the, and Chuck Everson who live locally and the Dixon brothers who give back to the kids in the community. Um, nobody has lost sight of what this program is still doing, and we really owe it to the people who came before us. That's great. Um, and, and I'm very proud to be part of the community, and I just wanted to say thank you for having this, to bringing up this uh, organ. I mean, this event. And uh, what are your expectations for your school year this year? Well, the team is, is to me has a unique balance to it. We have um, two key players returning in Jamel Allen and Michael Amonesi, and we have some youth. And, and I think the youth is going to really welcome the challenge. We're going to push them, and hopefully by January, we're going to be clicking on all cylinders. All right. Good luck this year, and once again, thank you for uh, uh, creating this event. My pleasure. Thank you. Hi, everybody. This is Rodini Amonesi of ILoveBball.com. I got Ray Valentin here with me at the uh, Brentwood High School uh, Basketball Hall of Fame inductee. He is one of the, the honorees for the night. Uh, Ray, you want to discuss what you did to get here and what you've been up to? Well, um, I was a uh, two-time league champion, uh, first thousand point scorer in the history of Brentwood without a three-point shot also. Um, and I'm uh, working for this man here. <laughs> Uh, with, with, uh, with children. We're, we're, we're teaching children. It's very gratifying. I'm, I, I'm honored to be here. Thank you. Yeah, like he said, he's not working for me. He's working for our community. We started an organization called the Brentwood Basketball Developmental League. And basically what we have is all the alumni. We have students uh, coming back to the community and giving back to our kids. And Ray Valentin is one of our head coaches, and we really appreciate everything that he does. We hope you enjoy the event and um, much more... Uh, much more great years ahead of you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, everybody, it's Rodini here. I'm here with Coach David Berger, the assistant varsity coach of the Brentwood High School, um, and also one of the co founders of Wood Nation. If you guys don't know what Wood Nation is, it was something that was created to help bring our community together by using our championship basketball team. Uh, Dave, um, you want to talk to the crowd, let them know what, what it's all about, talk to them? Well, tonight's a great event. It's um, a Hall of Fame night. We're trying to um, show our respects to the guys that have done it before us. Uh, we're really proud to be here and to have them uh, be able to join us, and we're excited to induct them into the Hall of Fame. Thank you a lot, uh, Coach Dave. And like I asked Anthony, what are your expectations for your uh, varsity team this year? Well, we're excited. We're excited. We have a, a different group of kids, but we're excited to get along and uh, get them started. Um, you know, we're going to go game by game. We have uh, a lot of people have some expectations for us, but um, you know we're in, we're going to temper those expectations and go game by game, and hopefully we'll be successful like we were in the past. Once again, thank you. We got Coach David Berger, Brentwood Varsity, um, and thanks for the event. Good job, man. Go Brentwood. Hi, this is Rodini Almonte for ILoveBball.com, and I have Jack Scalia, one of our uh, one another one of our uh, alumni from Brentwood High School. Jack, um, how do you feel about this event, and you want to talk about it a little bit? Well, yes, being uh, inducted into the uh, Brentwood Basketball Hall of Fame is quite special. Um, I know most of the players here, I mean, Cupcheck came after me, uh, but we were the first championship. So when I would ask Coach Kellner, um, which was your most special championship? Because we just won the league. They won counties and everything. He said, there's still a very sweet taste in my mouth from the first championship. But basketball and Coach Kellner has been a very, very big part of my life. He uh, 
when you meet a person and in the re in a uh, a spot of responsibility and can be a mentor and a male role model. Coach Kellner, my basketball coach, was a great guy, a great guy, and he was my most influential male uh, model, uh, role model in my life. The the uh, the the way that he taught it was like an unconditional way. He got us to believe in ourselves. It was uh, he made coming to school a, a joy, and we had a lot of fun. And he taught us about tenacity and perseverance and hard work and about being a scholar athlete. It wasn't just about playing the game to your talent. It was playing beyond your talent or taking the talent you've been given. I didn't have much talent, but whatever there was, he brought out of me. And then, of course, he did that with the five of us. And at that time, we only averaged five, eleven and a half. And I was the center, except I could stuff backwards. So... <laughs> But we played against front courts so that was 6-5, and we still beat them. And that's because of a great coach, uh, his ability to communicate to us, to allow us to believe. He said the most special thing about you guys was that you believed in each other and you bought into the program. And back then, my year I graduated was 69. So it was the brothers with the froze, and it was, or bros with froze, and then it was the guys with the long hair. But to show that you were committed to the team, you had to get a crew cut. And that didn't happen much. So our pool of players went from a school of 3,000 down to, I mean, a very small school. We only put uh, 10 people on the court. So um, five in the court, five on the bench. But the fact was is that at our first game, to show him how committed we were, we shaved our heads. And that was in 69. But that is what he inspired in us and a great coach or a great re uh, male role model or or you know a female not gender specific anymore but you can come across someone that is in involved in your life whether it's a teacher or whether it's a coach uh, or an aunt or an uncle or father or mother uh, they can have a great influence in you a uh, person for their own self-esteem uh, believing in themselves and then of course coming back to Brentwood High School day where I grew up the community uh, the basketball center that the community center that's still here uh we lived on the you know on the on the courts lived on the faith yeah, played football basketball and baseball here so to have the the community was always a great support for us the uh the showing up of all these people tonight for seven inductees is pretty you know phenomenal because a lot of them i know some but the fact is that we've always supported each other and brentwood high school was that kind of backbone, that kind of fabric and, uh, of, of people coming together and uh, supporting each other and, you know, develop, helping us to develop as uh, young men. And we grow up and we come back and we celebrate with them. That's great. That, that's really great to hear. A lot of the things you, I mean, I, there's so many things that you said that I can really uh, uh, grasp onto. Right. For instance, uh, the whole community thing. We started a movement about three years ago called Wood Nation. And the whole purpose of Wood Nation was trying to bring back the essence of community right. and basically the essence of what you guys did. And we really appreciate you being here and like to thank you once again and honor. honor you. Thank you so much. Thank Good you. luck. Stay in school. Study hard and do what you believe in and follow your dreams. Godspeed. Thank you very much, Pleasure. Mr. Scalia. Thank you. Take care. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Rodini Almonacy of ILoveBball.com, and I have Mitch Kupchak with us, the general manager of the Lakers and a Brentwood alumni. Well, the, the most important of those two things is being in a Brentwood alumni, especially this evening. Most definitely. Um, Mitch Kupchak is a, a great contributor to our community. He was, he was also a Brentwood member. He played in basketball, one of the first championship teams in our in uh, Brentwood High School history, and he always comes back and gives back to our community, and which is the essence of what we're trying to do tonight with in, uh, inducting these seven gentlemen to the Hall of Fame, the first ever Basketball Hall of Fame in Brentwood. Mitch, um, what else? Uh, how do you feel about this whole event? Well, uh, I mean, it's nice of you to say the things you've said, but really, the the essence of giving back to the community is you know the public school system here in Brentwood. And uh, I graduated from this school in 1972. And if it weren't for the students and the teachers and the administration, you know, going the extra mile, whether it was in the classroom when I needed help in French or, or math or algebra um, or on the basketball court with my uh, high school coach, you know, I always seemed to get the attention 
you know, that I needed. And, um, you know, if there's anybody that's given back to the community, you know, it's the public school system here in Brentwood, you know, how important it is that, you know, we support the public school system and recognize that the teachers and the administrators have a very difficult job and they do a great job. I agree, totally. Um, once again, we have Mitch Kupchak here. I'd like to say thank you again for coming and for everything that you do. And have a great, uh, enjoy the event. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Rodini Almonesi. I'm here with Ron Stewart, one of our, another one of our alumni uh, that came back to, uh, to honor the, the, the inductees. How you doing today? I'm doing very well, Ronnie. Um, you want to give people a history of what you've done and where you, where you come from in Brentwood? Well, I moved out to uh, Brentwood, Long Island when I was about you know, in fourth grade. Um, started playing um, with uh, youth leagues and with the BYA. And um, really, I think everything kind of jumped off of me uh, with uh, Coach Stan Kellner. Uh, at the time, I was a ninth grader, not really sure what I wanted to do. And um, Coach Kellner was a, was, a, was a person to let me know that if I dedicated myself to the game, that I would be able to do something with it. And um, so I give a lot, of, a lot of credit to him. Uh, but I, you know, since then I've, you know, I've obviously went on to St. John's University, played there for four years, was part of the Final Four team in 1985, and um, after that I got my master's degree, and then I went. I've been in France for the last 20 years, uh, played professionally over there, coached professionally, um, ended up as a GM, and now I'm still affiliated because I have a I have a nonprofit organization. I'm obviously dealing with basketball, but it's really developing life skills and kids through basketball. So I do that here, I do that in France, and here, and now I'm going into Belgium also. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. There you go, Ron Stewart, an alumni, and still giving, giving back to the community and giving back, using basketball as a tool to give back to everyone else. Thanks again for coming, and we, uh, we really, we're really proud to have you part of our community. I'm honored to be here. Honored. Okay. Thank you so much. It's hard, but we're going to talk. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got the alumni here. Chuck Everson. How are you? <laughs> hey, Chuck. How you doing? Um, we're here to discuss the event and discuss some of the other things that you've been doing in the community lately. Well, I mean, this is a great event, having everybody back and having Mitch come back. It makes it really, really special for all of us that are being inducted tonight. And seeing Ronnie and Greg Dixon, those are the guys that played when I played. It's a lot of fun. You know, uh, there's a lot of great memories, even though they're Sondland guys and I'm a Ross guy. Uh, it's, it, it's great. It's, it's great to see everybody. Well, it's always a pleasure to see you. If you guys didn't know, Chuck Everson is one of the guys who came and helped jump off our um, basketball developmental league and trying to bring back the fundamentals and let everyone understand what basketball is all about. It's not just about bouncing the ball, but it goes beyond that and developing character and giving back. And Chuck is definitely doing that. And uh, he's active in his community where he, he doesn't currently live in Brentwood anymore, but he always comes back to Brentwood and, and gives back. You want to talk about some of the other things you're doing, Chuck? Yeah, well, I've been working a lot with AAU stuff. We have my daughter's team uh, with Rich Slater, and um, all those girls, I'm happy to say, are all at the one schools. They're, a lot of them start their first year this year. Uh, Lauren Brzezowski's starting over at uh, Michigan. Can't wait to see her play. And uh, Taylor Byrne, I'm going to get to see play on Friday. She plays against my daughter Friday. Our first game's against Seton Hall, which is a tough draw for us. But it's a lot of fun to see how they've come and how far they've matured as kids and as people. Well, there you have it. That's my man, Mitch Kupchak. I like to say thank you for coming and uh, thank you for always coming back because this guy always gives back and we're very proud to have him as part of our community, part of our alumni, and most of all, uh, our, an inductee into our Brentwood Basketball first annual Hall of Fame dinner. Thanks. All right, I got my friend here, my, a, a new friend, but no, not a new friend to Brentwood, Mr. Phil Dixon. He's an honoree to the Hall of Fame tonight and he's also part of the Brentwood Basketball Developmental League, which is helping to develop our youth and to give back to the community. Um, how do you feel tonight? You want to talk about what's going through your mind right now? Well, what's going through my mind right now is, is uh, communities coming back together how I f think it should be. You know, we have some situation that's going on, and I, by pulling this off, is showing that Brentwood is still stands as number one in Suffolk County. Um, working with the Beat the Elk, working with the five and six year olds, gave me the opportunity to bring back the basketball strategies that I know. And also, it brought back, you know, being around children again and working with children and developmenting them. That's very good, man. 
Uh, once again, if you guys want to see more of Mr. Dixon, he's doing the Brentwood BDL, and he's always around in the community. He always comes back to the games and watch our teams play. And it's always a pleasure to see you, and congratulations for being inducted into our Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Rodini Almonte with ILoveBball.com, and I have here another one of our honorees and a brother of another honoree, Mr. Greg Dixon. Greg, uh, you want to talk to the crowd and let them know how you feel about this event and what's going through your mind right now about being inducted into the first annual Brentwood Basketball Hall of Fame? It's a, it's a great honor, great honor. And Coach Jimenez, Coach Rodini, Coach Jimenez, Rochester, start this off because all the old alumni who I watch play is back. It's big alumni, a couple of alumni I play with, Ron Stewart and Chuck Everson. It's great to see them again. And this is a great event because it's bringing Brentwood back. And I feel the love. Everybody that chipped in, helped out, I feel the love. And Coach Rodini, thanks because I never met you before, but I met you. And you're doing a good job. John Rube got me involved back for BDL. We're doing a great job here for the community. Thank you. God bless. God bless you. Thank you. Good afternoon. I mean, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rodini from ILoveBball.com. I have with me Coach Rigger, who's coached many of these players and many of our alumni in here tonight. And um, basically, we'd like to get some thoughts of what he thinks about this event and what's going through his mind right now. You know, first of all, obviously, it's a great night. Um, but... Anytime I come back here, there are some incredible memories. And just to see all the players, all the ex-players, all the faculty, and just to, to have everybody back together again. You know, uh, as I'm going to mention in some of my talks, uh, Brentwood, years ago, in the early 60s, we were a basketball sleeping giant. You know, uh, we didn't win much. Uh, we slept a lot. Everybody wanted to play us a lot. Of course, there were a lot of W's on their schedule for us. And then things began to change. Things began to happen. Coaches came in here. Uh, players started to develop. And then, you know what? Um, the banners started to appear on the walls. But it's been a great journey. Uh, this is a great night. It's just um, uh, something that I've looked forward to. You know, fortunately, um, myself along with uh, – uh, Coach Kellner and Coach Tagner and Mitch were in the first induction of the Brentwood Basketball Hall of Fame, and that was five or six years ago. And we're so thankful for Anthony, Coach Jimenez, to continue this tradition. And that's what basketball is. It's family, it's history, and it's tradition. We love it. Well, you couldn't, I couldn't have said it better myself. It's all about tradition. We love it, and we love that you guys come back, and you inspire us to do better because you guys set the, you set the level pretty high. So we got to keep on going and try to surpass that. We got to push ourselves every day. And because of you guys and because of what you guys do for us, you know, you inspire us and you keep us going. Just, just as long as people continue buying in to what we're doing here, uh, I mean, that's really what it's all about. You know, just one last thought. After the thrills of the victories, and the, and, and the bitter tastes of some of the losses we did lose occasionally every now and then. Once those feelings fade, the only thing that's left are the relationships. Is this, to come back and, and, and to warmly hug and, and, and be together with all the people that we've been through a lot of the, um, the ups and the downs. And that's what this night is all about. So thank you very much, guys. Appreciate Thank you very much, and we appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right. All right, guys, we have w another one of our alumni here, a coach. His name is Coach Rochester. We call, him, we call him The Rock. And I have a special relationship with The Rock because he was my connection to past, to the future, and the present. Because not only was Coach Rochester around with Mitch Kupchak and all these other alumni, but he is presently one of the coaches, one of the assistant coaches on the staff now. And he brings a sense of stability and brings a sense of, of victory, a, a sense of honor to our, to our program. And, uh, Rock, I just want to say thank you and, and ask you what you feel about this event and what goes through your mind when you come in give back to Brentwood. This night is just unbelievable. You know, all these, I've coached every single one of these guys, actually except Ronnie Stewart. 
who, uh, when we split into two schools, he was in Sondling, I was in Ross. But I knew him real well because, you know, we were all coaching at the same time. But this is something you can't even describe it. I mean, uh, I haven't seen Jack Scalia in years. He was one of the, the beginning of the Brentwood dynasty. Ray Valentine walking by, our, our first 1,000-point score. That was my first year of coaching, 1969-70. I went in there. I, I was a volunteer, just like I am now. I'm coming full circle. And uh, it, it was just such a pleasure with these guys. And it's just, you look at all of them, and they're all talking, and it's just, it's just a great, great time. It's just wonderful seeing all of them. And some of them are, like, really staying in the community and giving back. The Dixon boys, uh, Greg and, uh, and Phil are working with the Brentwood Developmental League, and Chuck Everson comes down and works with the Developmental League. These guys have never left. They bleed green. They're uh, un unbelievable, and it's just it's a wonderful experience. I'm so glad we're doing this again. We haven't had one in 10 years, and it's, it's time that we did it again, and it's just great. Well, um, like uh, a couple other guys said, it's about tradition, and we're going to keep it going. And, and, before, and on another note, present, present basketball. You got a new team this year. You got a young team. You guys went back-to-back, -back, first time ever to go back-to-back, -back, Brentwood history. Is that true? Is that right? Or? Well, we went back-to-back -back a couple of years. I mean, back when Mitch was there, but there was no uh, New York State championship. Okay. It, it ended in Suffolk County, and we were a two-time Suffolk County championship. Actually, we went to the finals four years in a row. Wow. We lost the first and the fourth, but we won the, the second and third, Mitch's junior and senior year. But we're going to be tough again this year. We got, like you said, we got the two best players in Suffolk County returning in uh, Mike and, and uh, Jamel, and we got some great young kids, uh, Lester, uh, Ramal, uh, Desmond, we're looking forward to, uh, and Tyler, we're looking forward to another good season. Hopefully it'll be as good as the last couple of years. Well, like I said, I have nothing but great expectation for you guys. I'd like to say thank you and appreciate everything that you do. Oh, this, is, this makes everything worthwhile. It's just like coming back, all of this, it's just wonderful experience. Thank you. There you have it. That was The Rock, a.k.a. Mr. Rochester. Epistrophe.